Three, three pairs missed their goal. Did really? So they, we had the Castling team all week a standby and just a show them round. So that run, they used that and they were been invited. They were invited then back and we'd give them a cab ride and a bit of a drive up and down on a service train just to make it worth the while really. Mm -hmm. For, uh, the, the situation really. Just watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You've not seen his size. Right. Yes. He's the small box. That's what it looks like. Birch most Western engines are all standardised, then you the small holes there, those are the flue the yeah. the flu tubes. All the heat is coming through there. Everything is surrounded by water. All the tubes are surrounded by water. All those other like N-shaped things and you. But that's a superheater element that. <coughs> your water, obviously the heat coming through the tubes boils your water. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The actual main, when you open your regulator, then the steam pipe is taken from the very highest point in your boiler. It'll come down in on the two, see the tube there's two pipes. It enters the, the superheat header, which is saturated. It's just wet steam, it's just boiled. A lot of water in it. Goes into the header, and then goes it back in some more smaller pipes down some larger flue tubes. Right. That will then go right the way down from the small box end to almost where you, you enter the firebox, which is about there. Mm -hmm. The two pre elements will go straight down, double back, and come out. But, you know, on the lower side then, that steam then has been superheated and is literally dry steam, it's not wet. Really? Much, it's superheated, the temperature's much higher. So when then, not regulate, normally when it's, if the regulator's shut, there's nothing in there. As soon as you want the regulator, to the front, back through, to be reheated, mm -hmm. superheated, back out, and then down your two main steam pipes into your cylinders. The effect of superheating makes it, means it will just end to mid gear, and then hopefully the steam that's in the all in all them pipes, all your tubes from your other, it's a full of steam down. You'll just gingerly put it in reverse, and then all of a sudden you just feel it sort of mm. move back. Like if it's stuck on the top, that says it's not enough to pull it forward, but it'll use enough to send it back. So you just gingerly move it into reverse, and as soon as you feel it going back, you just whiz it forward like that, and it'll just sort of rock and turn it in the coach, you'll feel like, boink, you know, and I'm going to say, you can, can see all the motion outside moving backwards and forwards, and they say, just convey it to move, it was ages, yeah. but steam was coming up all over the place. Yeah. They must have just stopped it on the, really? you know, and the, the thing where you just will not go one way or the other. Yeah. It's, it's, but that, that's not what you do. Just get a feel of that. And that's mid gear there. It'll go smashing forward, dead light. The castle's very much the same, lovely machine. Yeah, yeah. Wind it back, a little bit more. Oh, yeah. You need a bit of weight. A little bit more. Yeah. That's your mid gear point. Neutral, for all intents and purposes. Right, right back gear. That's the drain taps. It's all great. Normally released by your foot. Whisk forward. So they're always left in the open position. Mm. That is your blower, which is always left on. That will induce the draft. So even if you, you're going uphill or whatever, you have to shut off quickly for whatever reason. You're going in a tunnel, you're coursing through, you're not going to get a back pressure through. And that's why. And blow, you get a. Yeah. You know, What's well, a load of shit one minute is a yeah. fireball the next because it's just yeah. gas. The, the fire doesn't just burn on the bed. It's actually giving. It is burning, but it's also giving gas off, mm. and that is completed within the firebox, the burning of that. The door will normally always be left cracked open to admit extra air to complete the combustion of it. Now, this is not very deep in here. Yeah. The castle is about ten and a half foot. This might be about seven or eight. It's a long, long way down. That normally complete your combustion. You know, you put in between, nice wall, it's low down, easy to fire. The castle's not so bad. You only need just one on either side, one under the door, and you see to the, through the coaches of the engine, whatever. And as the steam whistles by, that sucks the air out mm -hmm. to create 25 inches of vacuum, of mercury vacuum. That will normally you will maintain. You kind of you have the big ejector on to create it on the castle, and on the, there you have a small one. So once you've created it, you can normally maintain it by the small one. If it doesn't keep it maintained, you will just crack the big one open so it can maintain your 25 inches. Mm -hmm. The stopping on it is normally they use a shut as you come into a stand. You will shut the big ejector, leave it on the small one, and just break gently with it. You know, bring it down to say 15, 20, 15, and just drift away at that. Just a touch more, it's usually to bring it 
to where you want to stop at, but you always then, as you literally come into a stop, the last few mi mile an hour or so, mm. release the brake just to take the pressure off. Right. You come to a nice, gentle stop. That's right. Yeah. Oh, there's you, you always one. release the brake. Like. When you've got coaches on, you release it that bit too because it, it's getting, they're actually stopping more of you than what you are. I say the, yeah, a better yeah, break, yeah. you will then, you know, when you're doing about two or three mile an hour, you will always stop with the vacuum rising between 50 and it, on its mm. way up. Mm. You always knock the brake off. Mm. It's still on, but it's just taking the pressure off. So it ends a nice stop, no tea spill, nobody coming running down the coaches, you know, so you just <laughs> jam to a bunch of stop. <laughs> so it will be awesome sometimes, do, don't they? That's what that is. Yeah. The driver will give you more instructions yeah. regarding that. Normally, now it's been worn, you won't need the cylinder cocks. That is all taken mm. care of. So the blower will normally be already on, but the, the layout is just the same. Steam valve off here, this, what you might think Sorry. is a heater, to here, by the time it gets here, it's down to water, but mm. under boiler pressure behind it. Do you know what, it goes to steam, you know, it gradually cools, goes to water. Mm -hmm. So it's just water under pressure here. That is filled with oil, so the water pressure is actually forcing the oil out to here. Oh, you get there, so water, oil floats on water, yeah. so you get little blobs of oil. Oh, I see, yeah. Every 30 seconds you set that, so when you get one blob of oil every 30 seconds, as long as that is in that position, mm -hmm. that, then as long as you're moving, you're getting oil into the steam, which goes into the cylinders, which lubricates it. Mm. It's, it's a bit fiddly, ancient thing, but quite effective. That's the oil you have to put in through there. Every morning you drain it through here. You'll get, see all the water? Oh, yeah. Now it's condensed, you know what's been steaming and coming. Come yeah. Every morning you have to empty that, open that, fill it with oil, and shut that, open the oil up, and then just balance them all up. How long does it take to get one up in steam? In steam, we normally always fire them the, the afternoon before. The Scotsman will be lit up this afternoon. Really? As long as that? Like, well, you, you like to warm them up nice and slow because yeah. the thing will move back a good few inches, the boiler, when it's, as it's warm. Really, really, the expansion. Yeah. Yeah. So they like to do it nice and gentle. You, you don't want to rush it. Mm. The longer, the better. Normally, mid afternoon, come the evening, it's still made no steam by yeah. about nine o'clock, but they'll back the fire up. So the morning after it's hot to chuck, but not in steam. And then in the morning, you can, you know, bring it around in about four o'clock. Yeah, it's been all over the place. Been all over the place. Those e-dampers on the Scotsman, on Castle, I should say, sorry, there's three. There's usually front and back. That has a front, back and the middle. You normally just use the two. Just that admits air to the underside of the fire bed, under the grate. You then complete the combustion by adding air through there. Mm -hmm. A, it takes a smoke off, and B, it completes the combustion because black smoke is, you know, when you see them labouring with right. black smoke, you think he must have a good... That is actually waiting. That is not... Good practice. Good for photographers, but good that's for all. photographers. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can make it smoke. Yeah. The idea is not to. Mm. It's mm. not. Uh, it's not good. Not efficient at all. Mm. Plus, it annoys the neighbours if you're in the middle of somewhere. That's Don't right. like smoke. No. And you can normally do it by not firing too much. And with your doors cracked open, you adjust your doors. As the smoke decreases, your, your doors gradually shut. But the smoke is heat. There's a lot of you know mm. burnt fuel in there, salt and all. We were, here, we were here when you first witnessed right. the river. The river. They got some happy shopper firelighters in there. Nice. <laughs> I sometimes use firelighters actually. Really? You cheat, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can do paper, that's just much more messy. Hands full of shit. They just throw a couple of, put a load of wood around it and they just drop lights and then just drop them off. Put up to a tree. Last smell, I think, of breakfast after. Let me just. Uh, close your, let's say your regulator here is actually straight yeah. out. It's really stiff and very tricky. Oh, yeah. Very yeah, tricky. It's, uh, it's yeah. But you're, actual, in the, on your reverser, it's actually mounted upright on this. On the, on, the, on the castle and the manor, everything is actually. If, you go, if it goes forward, it means it's going, going forward. forward yes. but yeah, if it was just stuck upright like that, you think it, well, if it goes up, it would go forward. In yeah. fact, it's the arse drawn about. It's back gear. And an accident has occurred on Bishop's Rail, on the, on the Bresley, at Totem a few years ago, where it came off the, the stock, yeah. stock, changed drivers, and the one got on, wound it up, thinking it went forward and set off. It went back and took the top of the shunter's head off. Really? Really killed, nearly killed him, yeah. That almost ended seeing on behind that. Simple as that, yeah. Simple as that. So you've got to familiarise yourself with it.